My story dates back to the mid 80s where I was a much different person, as many of you may have been, visiting some friends in Tarpon Springs, Florida, sponge capital of the world. <laughs> and there's only so many things you can do in Tarpon Springs. And we get the bright idea that we're gonna travel to Tampa to watch High Lie. Does that, anybody know what High Lie is? The sport of High Lie? Little crooked baskets with hard balls. Uh, very much like racquetball. Anyway, on our way there, we want to loosen up a little bit, uh, decide to smoke left-handed cigarette, of the medicinal kind, of course. And we get to the place where they play this game of high lie, a big stage in front of you with several team members on, on each team. And they all march out, and you can watch them practice, and you bet on this. It's not just greyhounds that you bet on down there, horses. You, you get to bet on these things. We know very little about this, but everybody else in the crowd seems to have um, their handicap booklets, like you do at horse races, and they're very serious about this. We are just carrying on, and I'm noticing these guys warming up, short, squatty guys. They seem to be real quick with, uh, with the baskets, getting the ball back, and I'm thinking, these are the guys that I want to bet on. So I do in, the, in the, like the second match, I think I bet four or six bucks, and I win $40. Um, we continue on having a beer in between each match, and I'm betting on these same short, squatty guys, and they keep on winning. We keep on drinking a couple beers. By the end of the night, I win somewhere in the neighborhood of $600. It was a good night. So we need to celebrate. In Tampa, there's a nightclub called London Victory Club. We decide to go there to celebrate, have an incredible time there, having fun, a few more drinks, and we decide, okay, this is enough. We've had, a, we've had a great night. We need to drive back to Tampa. It's about a 45 minute drive. And on our way out, my friend, now remember this is back in the mid 80s. He has the keys to his car. I think it's, I guess, 78 Chevy Impala. Little silver keys, I think you, some of you might remember. Silver keys, uh, a round one to open the door, square one to start the vehicle. Well, we're throwing them back and forth on the way to his car, which is about three blocks away, get to his car, he gets his key ring out, no round key. Oh my gosh, what are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna retra retrace our steps. We start heading back to London Victory Club, about three blocks away. Now remember, this is Tampa, and in the, in the, in the streets, they have these little pieces of glass there so everything looks like, oh my gosh, there, no, that's not it. another piece of glass. There, no, that's not it. Get the whole way back to London Victory Club, and my friend, stepping over the curb, says, oh my God, I found a wallet. And I said, oh my gosh. He opens it up, and he looks at me, I said, Phil, <laughs> you dropped your wallet with 600 bucks in it. All right, I have my wallet, but guess what? We still don't have a key to the car. We're not going to call his wife. He has, a, I think his, his daughter might have been a year and a half old. She's not going to come get us. And as we're opening up the wallet, we're celebrating, giving each other high fives. There's a guy leaning against the wall, a little bit drowsy. Are you guys looking for this? And here it was, the key to the car. Two losses. Two fines, same night. A very good night. Thank you.